All right, to get started, I just opened up Premiere Pro and I'm going to click the new project button. Give your project a name and change the project save location if you want. Ignore the rest of the settings and hit OK to open up your new project. First, let's go down here to the project tab to add some media. Double click anywhere in the space that says import media to open up the import pop-up. Find and select the media you'd like to add. You can hold down the control key on your keyboard to select multiple files at once, then click open. All right, and there my files have been imported into my bin. Next, I'm going to drag one of my clips onto the timeline to create a new sequence. A sequence is just the container that holds all the media that's added to your timeline. The sequence's settings will be set to the first clip you add to the timeline. So if I add this 720p clip to my timeline with my 1080p clip, the sizes won't match in the frame. You can overcome size differences like this by right-clicking the offending clip on the timeline and selecting Scale to Frame Size. For the next few steps, I'm kind of zoomed out of my timeline, so to zoom in, I'm just going to hold down the Alt key on my keyboard while scrolling with my mouse. You can also change the size of your video by double-clicking it in the preview and dragging its sizing handles. And to move your video around, simply drag it in the frame. Now to reposition clips on the timeline, make sure you're using the selection tool, and then simply drag them around on the timeline. You can even position clips on top of each other to play them back at the same time. Or if you want, you can import some audio and drag it below your video clips on the timeline. All right, I'm going to undo my changes and go back to one clip to keep my workspace clean. Now to trim the beginning or end of any clip, position the playhead to where you'd like to trim your clip to. With the selection tool, drag the end or beginning of your clip to trim it to that position. To cut out the middle of a clip instead, select the razor tool. And I'll just click on the beginning and end of the part of my clip I'd like to cut out. Then select your cutout clip and press delete to remove it. The other way to trim footage is by using the source panel. It's mainly useful for trimming long video clips before adding them to the timeline. Double click any video clip from the project panel to open it up in the source panel. Move the source panel's playhead to the start of the part you want to cut out. Then click this left bracket to set an endpoint. Then move the source panel's playhead to the end of the part of the video you want to cut out, and click the right bracket to set an out point. Now drag the source panel's video onto your timeline to add only that part to the timeline. And since this is a 720p clip on a 1080p sequence, I'll right click it and select scale to frame size. We're done trimming, so now let's add a transition by clicking this arrow in the project panel and selecting effects. In here, you'll see folders containing effects and transitions for audio and video. Let's double click video transitions to open up its folder and find a transition. Once you've found a transition, drag it onto a cut between your two clips. Alright, now when I play this back, I have a simple dissolve transition. Now let's add some text to our timeline by selecting the text tool. Click anywhere in the video preview and start typing to add your text. After you've added your text, you can use the selection tool to reposition your text in the frame. And drag its sizing handles to change its scale. If you want to change your text properties like color or font, make sure your text clip is selected on the timeline and go up here to graphics. Click the edit tab to see your text's various properties that you can change. To keep things simple, I'm just going to change my font. Another basic thing you might want to do is change a clip's speed. To do this, right click your desired clip on the timeline and select speed slash duration. In the pop-up, simply change the speed percentage to speed up or slow down your video. Okay, now the sushi is moving a lot faster. Finally, if you want to freeze a frame, move the playhead to the frame you'd like to freeze. Right click your video clip and select insert frame hold segment. This will insert a new clip with just your frozen frame for a couple seconds. Alright, and those are the basics of Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and see you next time.